Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Near Automata, where we are in Checker Select mode. And I haven't quite fully figured out how this works. Um, so what I did is, I... Well, after ending the previous episode, I just uh, ran around a bit. Uh, of course, I realized after the fact, or I guess I realized toward the end of the episode, that um, it was just before... Uh, unlocking teleport, so that was obviously a very inconvenient place in the timeline to be. Um, but I still ran to the amusement park because I remembered reading that after finishing Route C, uh, the uh, the shop there would sell filler metal, and indeed they did. Uh, so I guess yeah, uh, shop inventories upgrading or updating uh, must happen across all points in the timeline after you reach a certain point. So that's good to know. Um, I also looked into those three suicidal machines, and apparently there is no more, nothing more to it. Um, I did read something about um, checking out their bodies after they jumped, and there's supposed to be some sort, some extra dialogue and uh, items to pick up. Well, I did that after restarting the game, and there were no bodies or items, so I guess I'll try doing the quest again, hacking all of them again, um, and to see if checking out the bodies actually finishes the quest, because uh, as far as I could tell, um, it, it still said 11 out of 12 quests, and after going to a different point in the timeline, which is what I did now, uh, I actually jumped to the earliest location, or the earliest uh, chapter, basically, that had the same, it seemed to have the same quests still open, and indeed, that seems to be the case, because uh, these machines are still marked. And also Pascal was marked and gave me the the same um, Old World info quest again. I guess he'll just keep giving giving you the same quest. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't just stay active, I guess. Uh, but he will offer the same quest throughout various chapters, and you can just turn in any info you have. And I guess at some point you will have given him the last bit of info, and the quest will actually be considered done. But yeah, I'm, I can only assume that at some point this quest will be considered completed as well. And I will attempt that again. Right. Uh, so the reason I'm starting here is that, for whatever reason, I was just advancing the main storyline. Uh, this is just after A2 murdered the Forest King and we defeated her and chased her off. And our, we, we went to Pascal to ask him about her. And uh, we got another one of these items here. Wait, that was a machine core. What? Hold on. That's not what just happened. Okay. That is weird. Now, what happened is, um, there was an item lying in front of Pascal. Like, uh, just a regular glowy thing on the ground, as items normally look. Not not the one, not that machine core I just picked up. Uh, and I tried picking it up, and it said, uh, it said Pascal's book, capacity full. And then it flew off to here, and turned into a machine core, apparently. Now, that's bizarre. Um, because, yeah, we did get Pascal's book after giving him some info last time, and I never looked up the item, or looked at the item, and it's uh, just a uh, sellable, for some reason. A book on life and death that was lying outside of Pascal's house in a thoroughly used state can be exchanged for money. So, yeah, I have no idea what that's all about. I mean, um, I guess I can sell it. It, it seems kind of wrong to sell his book. It also seems weird that it's not, you know, a document that you can read. I guess I'll just sell it then. So here, I um, picked up three more filler metals at the shop. Oh, this actually sells for 50k, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I, w I basically didn't want to sell it off-camera. I wanted to at least take a look at it and show it off. Yeah, really weird. I'm, I swear it said Pascal's book capacity full. And then it flew off, and then it looked like a machine core. And I figured it, it just... It, it obviously was going to be the same item, but no, I guess not. Maybe I had my one chance to get the second Pascal's book and missed it. Not that I really need the money, but that's weird. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go check out... Well, okay, I guess I'm going to quick save. Didn't mean to do that, but... Uh, okay, I'm also going to show you where we are. We are in the King of the Forest... Chapter. I guess I started here, and now we're we've moved on to here. Oh yeah, we must have actually. 
Yeah, actually we moved on to chapter 7 already. Yeah, but uh, as you can see, the number of quests remains largely unchanged. I think I started... Yeah, I started with this one because it still had the 11 out of 12 quests for 9S. It also has an extra quest for 2B, but of course we wouldn't see that one uh, while we're not playing as her. But it also says two shared quests. I guess, I guess one of them must be... Uh, Pascal's quest? Hmm. But then it's weird that it doesn't display that in the earlier chapters, where I'm pretty sure it was... Yeah. It was definitely available in this... During this chapter, huh? Yeah, I... Oh, so, so I still don't understand how this quest progress indicator works. What exactly it counts and what it doesn't count. And when a quest is considered complete... Because I can only assume that once you complete a side quest once, it will update the list, right? That's the entire point. So I'll try this. I'll try the suicidal machine quest first, and then maybe I'll go ahead to some later chapter and find something more uh, unambiguous and complete that and see if it if it works the way I expect. But yeah. Um, Two share quests. I guess there is still the arena quest too, but that should stay active like throughout to the end of the game. I guess it. Hmm. Okay. You know what? It it always always seems to have two missing quests, two mer two missing shared quests. So those might be Pascal's uh, knowledge collection and the final arena. I guess it could be. Maybe. Maybe that's that. Maybe that's all it is. Um, okay, uh, yeah, before I get myself even more confused, I'm gonna just go ahead and transport to uh, somewhere near, actually near tower should be just fine. I don't think the order um, should matter at all in uh, talking to or hacking those gloomy machines. I should probably also just skip that part, do that off camera, because... It's uh, kind of uninteresting, seeing it for the third time. But it should also be pretty fast. 9S, why did you ask Pascal about A2? Huh? It's not recommended to interface with machines without consulting command. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Though I suppose such intense curiosity can be admirable. Can please in its pledge own onto way. the ladder? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, 2B. Still, machines are the enemy. Don't forget it. Right. Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. Yeah, yeah. No problems here. Copy that. I also need to inform you that the commander offers her personal... Not interested in your dialogue right now, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Direct result, we are currently. Okay, um. Nope, can you please look off? Thank you. And, do we get lucky? Yes, a lever gadget. Awesome. I needed those. I might need another one of those, actually. And I haven't been able to find info on where to possibly buy those. So, I don't know, either no one put that online, or I didn't look in the right place, or it's actually an item that cannot be bought. Which would be unfortunate, but... Yeah, I don't need that many more. If worst comes to pass, oh my god. Oh my god, I almost fell. Like, I almost fell for real. Roots are surprisingly, or maybe unsurprisingly, treacherous to walk on. Um, that is not the machine I meant to hack. Game. Wow. Wow. Can we please? I guess not. Oh, he's also armored. I guess that makes sense. Oh, and that guy isn't even aggressive. All right. Can we? I guess I have to 
be close enough. Okay, fair enough. That makes sense. To exist, I must be strong. Merely destroying life will not win me approval. But if so, what will you say to the world? It is painful. So painful. Okay. Okay, make it across just like last time, and then we make it across yeah. here, hopefully. No problem. And up to the final machine. Um, okay. If you could actually grab onto the ledge, that would be amazing. Thank you. And last but not least. Supposed to jump. Right. Yes. Oh, we'll have to listen to this again. And as far as I can tell, there is no way to skip this kind of dialogue. It's just happening in the the main engine. Skipping various kinds of cutscenes is also very inconsistent. Sometimes it's It'll allow you to, or it, it'll tell you to hold B to skip, and that will usually work, but sometimes not really. It's kind of sketchy, and sometimes you can actually pause, and it will display A to skip, but only during the pause screen. It's weird. Okay, he jumps all the way down there. I can't believe that thing decided to end itself. I don't actually see its body from here. Nope, there is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, wait. It did leave the ship. This is where that machine fell. Oh, there is some dialogue. Okay. It is where the machine fell. Hijack was plus six. Okay. Hmm. I mean, of course, I don't know where exactly the other machine would have fallen. Or if there is supposed to be dialogue in all of those locations. Hmm, the ledge is up there, so he could have landed anywhere around here. Or maybe all the way down there? Is that possible? I suppose it's possible. Hmm, uh, maybe not. Uh, okay, I'll run over to the tower and see if... He's there. Yeah, with this one up here, I'm really not sure. Uh, there is just there are too many possibilities where he could have ended up landing. Um, also, this is okay. A little bit awkward to get back out of, but it's fine. I mean, we didn't have a quest to begin with. The markers did disappear before, so I really have no way of telling if this did anything differently from before. Yeah, he, sh he would have jumped pretty far, huh? But I feel like I've checked all the likely areas where he should have landed. Now as for the tower guy, which direction was he facing? I want to say that he was facing over in the direction I'm facing right now. Of course, it's very possible that only the guy that you talked to last, or that you hack last, actually leaves a body and leaves an item and triggers that little line of dialogue. It's not much, but it is more than I got before, so I don't know. That's all I can think of. And it's all that I could find online. No one specifically mentioned the quest not 
being checked as marked uh, checked as marked what what am i even saying uh, marked as um, uh, completed checked off the list i suppose in the chapter select so let's see here no it still says 11 out of 12 this is so weird unless it means a different quest but i mean obviously there is no quest on the map nothing marked at all this is very strange well, it does show this one here. Reconnaissance squad. Huh, yeah, it's weird that it actually keeps seems to keep this quest in my quest log at all times. Even though I can't currently... Um, the, the 4S unit is not there. I actually checked. and Yeah, that's... Well, I don't know. There, there are some weirdnesses. I don't know if I'm just not very smart or if, if the game is a little bit wonky in that way either way we are supposed to return to the resistance camp and i have a couple of reasons to go there anyway so that's good obviously i don't have to worry about re-completing the various parts of the main quest at all but i guess i might as well so long as it's you know easy enough to do but the reason i want to go there is um well, first of all, the game told me to talk to the weird resistance woman. And that she's supposed to have something new to tell me. Or something new for me to ask her. So let's do that. Report. New mail, huh? Mail notification received from access point. Okay. Not sure if that's new. Inbox. Server capacity. Yeah, okay. Hello. Yep, it's me. Truth is, I've opened a little site business. Got a real hush hush. Uh, gotta be real hush hush about it. There are certain accolades given to a select few who really give their all. You know what I'm getting at. They're super tough to earn, which frustrates a lot of androids. Uh oh, what's this about? So, with the help of some select volunteers, my company unlocks them. It's a secret, but check it out if you like. Uh. Unlocking, you know what? Oh. <laughs> Achievements to buy? Information Master. Wait, can I just pay for achievements I have yet to unlock? The subscription may contain spoilers. Wow. What is this all about? Organic Blade, yeah. Okay, this one is for... Um... Inorganic Blade. This must be for upgrading... For either getting or upgrading all weapons to level 4. And I'm pretty close to getting that anyway. Supreme Support Weapons must be for getting all the um, pod programs, of course. Weapons Maniac. So yeah, I, I guess this must be for getting all weapons. And this must be for upgrading them all. Well, either or. Information Master must be for getting all the all archives, which I'm also pretty close to. We're getting closer. Huh, it's interesting that this is an option. And I wonder if some of these can only be gotten this way? Obviously, almost all the, the achievements for this game, or I mean, not obviously, but uh, almost all of these, all of the achievements for this game started out as uh, locked in order to prevent spoilers, so. No idea what what the not obvious ones are. Hmm. Okay, so that's I mean it's interesting, but it's not really something I'm interested in doing right now. Uh, yes, we actually want to upgrade the pod. In fact, we can upgrade our main pod to the final level because we have one power up part L that we found in the tower. So we're obviously going to do that. Nice. And... Oh, we're missing one more elaborate gadget. Gotcha. Okay, only one more, though. And then we can upgrade this one to level 3. And then... Right, we'll only need one more... Well, we'll, we'll need two more power part L's, of course. Power, power part L's? Power parts L? I don't know. Um, and potentially... One more complex gadget. Right, because pod A didn't actually need one, so presumably both of these will require three each. But otherwise we should be okay, yeah. 
Definitely. Okay, getting there. Now our main pod has been upgraded. And by the way, I I did notice that uh, I know I, I mentioned at some point that I didn't notice any changes in you know in the pod's behavior or abilities. Other than slightly increased damage, but I'm I'm pretty sure now that this this first super projectile, whenever you hit the button, must be from leveling up to level two, and level three actually added the uh, little rocket launcher thingy or grenade launcher unit. I don't know if there's any indication, but if you whenever you you've held the button for a certain amount of time, it's not that long, like two seconds or so, and then you let go. As soon as you let go, it, it fires a grenade, so... Yeah, that's interesting, I guess. But, that being said... Oh, okay. Okay, it makes a makes a whirring sound, and then... It actually shoots a cluster of grenades. After holding the button for even longer. I mean, that's good, I guess. Certainly, it doesn't hurt. I mean, it hurts my enemies. There's also a ton of chests back in the warehouse area. That's interesting. Don't expect to be able to access them at all. Okay. Well, okay, maybe it's only two quests, uh, two, two chests. Oh! And there's Devil and Popola. What? Have they always been there? Or is that not them? Maybe it's them. And they just they were just standing there the whole time and never did anything until later in the game. Huh. I don't suppose you'll just let me in there? Of course not. Ah, oh, man, that's so frustrating. Come on. Give me those, those chests. Or at least don't display them on the map. Torturing me. Uh, well. Okay, what else did I want to do? Um, I, I guess advance the main quest for some reason. Oh, to be. Our android forces currently have... It should be back. Uh, the yeah, resistance that. is... A, so I'd like to ask... Seriously? Dead, sir. And with all the... Of course. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Well, I certainly don't feel particularly eager. Oh, she has a quest. Hold on, what's that? Favor. What is it? Planning a recon expedition of the forest. Re oh. I mean, I did that. At least twice, I think. Maybe I never completed it? That's another weird one. It's technically listed as a side quest. Pretty sure I've done this before. Hmm. Yeah, and also somewhere around here is where you just jump out of bounds. I think it's... It looked really straightforward, just... Might also be slightly in the wrong spot. Maybe it was here? No, let's not take a break. It's fine. Also, you know what? I, um... I want to see if I can change to B's outfit while she's not active. So I'm not actually that into her... Um... You know, revealing outfit. I actually really like this one, but it's A2 exclusive, unfortunately. Oh, we cannot? Cannot. Cannot even deactivate this one. Okay, well, fair enough. I mean, not really. It should mean no problem allowing you to do that, but... What ifs? Yeah, I don't know. Um, might have been here. Oh, hold on. Is it here, actually? Maybe you actually have to still jump in a somewhat specific spot, or maybe it has been patched, who knows. It's also not like I actually need to do that right now. It's uh, It basically gives you a, a fast way to reach the uh, the coast region. But then again, I can teleport there, so I really don't need a fast way. Oh, well, uh, what do I... What do I do now? I mean, I guess I'm, I'm gonna go to forest and see if I can complete this uh, quest again. See if that does anything. And... Well, let's do that first, and then we are going to... 
Yeah, let's start here. And then we might start exploring or go back down and re-explore the underground cave. The dark, huge dark cave that we only checked out once. And I don't know what was stopping me before from reaching uh, Emil's hideout that apparently is there somewhere. Maybe it was literally locked off. Or he was just he just wasn't there. Who knows? I know Maybe it's, it's our job and all, but these empty... resistance types sure do use and abuse us, don't they? Maybe it was it's just like they an see us as a cave. couple of gophers or something. No complaining yeah, yeah. about your work. Exchanging information with the resistance is a vital part of our mission. Besides, being a gopher is safer than being locked in combat all the time. Not dying beats dying any day. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. There is a chest here. Oh, has there always been a locked chest here? How did I miss that so many times? I'm going through here. Oh. Archive. Department store flyer. Alright. Well, that's something for Pascal, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure you don't need to be. I can't believe the size of the commercial facility. The people of the old world yeah, must have led pretty good lives. Yeah, yeah. I bet it was fun to shop back when you had so many choices. We don't need such things. Don't be so sure about that. Once we eradicate the machine life forms, us soldiers won't have anything left to do. We'll enter a new age of peace. And when that happens, we should go shopping together. I could buy you, I don't know, a t-shirt maybe? <laughs> something that looks good on you. Yeah, a I mean, something that looks better than what, what she's currently not wearing interested? would be nice. Hmm. When that day comes, I'm all for it. That's a promise, right? Yep. Hmm, nice. I didn't remember that she actually agreed so, so readily. Uh, also, I wondered about this before. Did we ever, over the course of the story, end up going into the store, through the store? Because I certainly don't remember doing so. And I wonder if that is maybe going to be in the part that I expect to unlock at some point, that actually continues and maybe finishes the main storyline. Hmm. Or maybe it's it was supposed to... <laughs> was planned to, to house some sort of content that never came, which would be unfortunate. Oh, hello, big guy. And bye-bye, big guy. Okay. Camp development. Is it complete? No. Tell Anemone, alright, deliver more info to Pascal. I mean, I doubt that's, that that's going to finish his quest, but... Oh yeah, as I was trying to say before when uh, suddenly dialogue happened, I'm pretty sure that those chests are always there and you can just collect all these uh, archives at any point whenever you happen to, to find it. And you don't need to be actively on the quest for Pascal. Tokyo Department Store going out of business sale. Okay, so wait, is this con is it confirmed that this is literally Tokyo? I guess so, huh? Interesting. After 25 glorious years of serving our loyal customers, it is with a heavy heart that we announce our last day of business will be on March 31. Beginning on March 1st, we'll be slashing prices on everything in the in the entire store. Additionally, we'll be opening our doors one hour earlier throughout the entire month. We eagerly await you your visit and thank you again for your years of patronage. Bring this flyer with you to receive a free pack of tissues. <laughs> To wipe off your tears or something okay uh, well another thing I should check is the forest arena well not only are we level 69 now perfect level by the way but uh, since we have beaten round C new uh, new robots to control new machines to control might be unlocked And uh, who knows, maybe one of those is going to allow me to more easily or, you know, yeah, hopefully more easily beat the next round, the next and possibly last round, and finally close that, that chapter as well. Depending on how this goes, uh, I guess we might not visit the, the caves after all, but who knows, maybe it's going to be relatively straightforward. Leave me alone, guys. 
I do not want to deal with you at all. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm also going to equip my uh, hijack boost. Actually, I never checked the hijack boost plus six that I got from the from the suicider. So let's do that. Power programs. Oh wait, that's not what I meant to check. But yeah, actually, uh, I I saw I went through the list because um, I at some point I realized that the game had unequipped everything but my laser. Probably for starting a new game or something. And you by default you just start with one pod program equipped. And I re-equipped the scanner and looked through my list and noticed the vault, which I didn't remember picking up or ever using before. Um, yeah, I'll give that a try. I equipped it, but didn't really get to use it. Uh, right, also, plug-in chips. Plug-in chips, plug-in chips. Uh, what is this one again? Defense, max HP, auto heal, evade range. Oh, this is the, wait, movement speed? Oh, this gives me max move speed and evade range. Okay. And also some resilience, max HP up. Uh, you know what? I'm... Maybe I'll need max movement speed for something again at some point, but... Maybe not. Uh, wait, is this new? Might be. It's a seven... Wait. Hold on, plus, plus four. Oh, never mind. Uh, okay, the plus two? Actually, I think it's new. I, I used to have this one for seven. Not that it makes a big difference at all. Should be able to yeah, equip these easily. And that brings me to uh, brings me over the max nine level increase anyway, so... There we go. Are there new machines? Actually, it does not look like it. Okay, there's an item, though. More money. Yay. I'm uh, a bit disappointing. I was really hoping to see more different machines here. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess I'll take a look. Or I'll have one go, since I'm here. Not, not much has changed. I gained a couple of extra levels, but I'm not sure it's going to make that big of a difference. I'm going to go with my flyer again, because that still seems like the only... feels like the only viable option at all. Yes. No weapon. Mm -hmm. Which one was this? Oh, okay. Wait. I already forgot how to play this. Okay. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. I think I accidentally pressed the dodge button, which is not a good idea. Okay, this guy's level 80. Wait, I'm only level 69? Oh, I never equipped the freaking... Uh, oh. Wait, can I do this? Okay, well... Yeah, whatever. I'm stupid. Skills... Plug-in chips... Equip. There we go. Talk to him again. Yeah, sorry about that. Yes. We'll see how much of a difference it actually makes. We, we're dealing like 200-ish damage per shot. Uh, can you please target that enemy? Thank you. Yeah, about twice the damage. Seems good. Ah, oh, man, God damn it! I keep underestimating its reach. Oh, very slow shock wave. That shouldn't affect me in the first place, but you never know. Also, the real problem is the shield guy, of course. So I really have no way of effectively damaging that guy. You know, if, it, if at least it was, it was possible to shoot him from above, maybe, while flying. 
Maybe if I was aiming manually? That seems almost impossible. No, that's, that's definitely not possible. I have to lock on. Or else I cannot move and shoot at the same time. Yeah, this is incredibly awkward. I really must look up some videos of people using all the different machines available to beat these. Oh my god. It's completely impossible. Yeah, okay, I can sneak a shot in there, but look at his HP. I guess if I was level 99, assuming that's the max level, then that might work. Stop just marching! Ah, oh, yeah, and just punch me. This is... yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this one. What else do we have available? I mean, I guess I could try and brute force it with a um, more offensive unit. This guy with... Uh, what does he have? Like spear and possibly axe? I don't even know. Also, to be was just frozen in place, interesting. I'm gonna give it one more try just to see how completely ridiculously impossible it, it is gonna be. I'll try the big guy, I suppose. I could try the axe flyer. Because he's more mobile. The problem with all other machines, and I, I know I keep repeating myself, is that they are just so slow and that they are just freeze in place for several seconds in order to attack. And they take just so much damage. Oh, he he has guns as well. Which is not going to help against the shield bearer, so... I guess fists has to be my my choice here. Or else I'd be much better off with... with the other guy. Oh, he has a shield too? Okay. Oh, he, he does block projectiles from the front. I mean, that, that is good to know. Of course, it's only helping to an extent, to a very limited extent. Yeah, and he's just so slow. I cannot not move at all. I mean, I can, I can jump. I'm stunned for two seconds after each jump. This is how is this supposed to work? Seriously, I I have to look up videos. I'm I'm sh I'm sure people have beaten every single arena at level one with each machine type, but I don't know. I'm I'm convinced. <laughs> I mean, I say that, but at the same time, I feel like it's completely impossible to do it with certain combinations. It's... yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this one. I don't want to load. What am I doing here? Skills, plug-in chips... Uh, yes, equip the main set. Alright, and let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I don't know, maybe I just suck. It's very possible, but... Do I suck that much? I don't suck that much in most other areas of the game. So it seems weird that I would, you know, have this much trouble in this one specific location. I don't know, I can only assume that it's... that most people must find this very hard. Oh well. Yeah, that wasted 10 minutes or so. Yeah, I don't know. Not really worth it. But, um, well, okay, we're going to return to the resistance camp, if I can find the right way. Yeah. Run past these guys, they can't catch up to me anyway. We'll return to Anemone, uh, see if that finishes that quest that I, I'm sure I've finished before, but who knows. Transport to resistance camp, then we'll go visit Pascal. And I guess that's reasonably close to... Actually, no, never mind. I'm still going to teleport to the crater, of course. It's still going to be faster than walking there. And then we'll uh, head down into the cave. Although, I mean, at that point, we'll we'll only have, like, 15 minutes left. But I want to do something. I don't want to just cut this episode short having achieved almost nothing. I don't know. It's a little bit frustrating. Various things are. Uh huh. Oh, well, we did get stuff. 
So maybe I never finish this quest somehow? Maybe this is one of the one of those situations where Attacker number two? You you know her? Um maybe we we yeah, maybe it's an it's one of those situations where we um where I technically completed that quest step but somehow ended up advancing the main quest more before turning it in and then the quest was gone and the opportunity passed. Hmm. Well, we know that uh, A2 and Anemone knew each other, or know each other from before, somehow. Uh, which was just... Uh, which they just talked about, and I kind of skipped over most of that, sorry about that. Uh, sure, can you give me any information you have on that old A2 Yora unit? Anything at all? That's funny, we've been trying to find out more information ourselves. Why are you asking? I just need to be sure about something. Camp development complete. Okay. Anemone's past updated. Wait, what? Okay, that's definitely new. I certainly do not remember this at all. Anemone seems to have recalled something upon hearing the name of A2, though she wants your help finding more information. But where to go? Where indeed? Does the map give any indication? At all? Oh, wait. It maybe does? Or maybe that's a completely new quest? Okay, intriguing. This is certainly not the one that I saw pop up at some point. That was, I'm pretty sure, it was just right at the entrance of the shopping mall. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we have a change of plans. Anything more you can tell us? Attacker number two. Hmm. Well. This is the guy that will give us the quest to find his friends in the future, or their keepsakes. Huh. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, go talk to Pascal and give him that piece of info. Wait, where is... There, there it is. Right there. Right where it always is. Uh, let's give him that extra piece of info, the flyer, and collect some sort of reward for it. I very much doubt that that's going to be the last piece we needed to complete the quest for good, but, you know, I might as well. She wants intel on A2, does she? Where should we start? Good we question. could check out the energy reactions generated during battles. The fusion reactors of androids and machine life forms shut down when they're destroyed. And we can detect the energy release during that process. We're the only units doing any combat missions in this area, right? So if we detect any stray energy reactions, it probably means A2 is involved. Yeah, okay. We've got some readings around the abandoned factory. I'll put it on the map. Interesting. Good thinking, A2. Uh, A2. Not A2. 9S. <laughs> um, yeah, that sounds reasonable, actually. Hello. Okay. Another 1,000 gold, thank you. Not much, but it's a little bit progress. On that quest, can you please... <laughs> Ladders, why? Just... Okay. Uh, well, I'd still, I'll still head on over to the forest, because I want to see what that's all about. Uh, yes. What could that be? I guess that... Oh, that must be the the camp, of course. I... Of course, yeah. I destroyed the machines in that particular corner of the of the forest. Because they wanted to, uh, to set up a camp there. And since I never finished this quest before, apparently, even though I thought I did, obviously I never saw the camp actually set up. Oh, there we go. Hello. This forest branch just opened for business today. Feel free to swing by if there's anything you need. Huh. Do you sell anything out of the ordinary? Uh... 
doesn't look like it. Auto weapon switch, yeah, I guess that's just the auto stuff. Um, okay, well, thanks, but no thanks. Hey, I know this is a bit uh, out of left field, but you look like someone who cares very deeply about gastronomy. Oh, I do. See, I'm doing research about food for whenever the human race decides to return to Earth. Yeah, okay. Those humans were always going on about eating, right? Well, also clothing and shelter, but mostly eating. Anyway, I'm collecting ingredients from across the land for research purposes, and I'm betting you'd like to help me out. Uh, right? Of course. Thanks a million! So, meat's at the top of the list, naturally, which means I need you to head out and find both moose and boar meat. <sighs> okay, well, if only I had known. How much? I guess we'll see. Right. Mm -hmm. Just some meat. Can do. Oh, and we cannot even talk to the other guy. Or, uh, girl. Okay, well. Not particularly exciting so far, but... Oh, only one each? That's easy. Uh, in fact, I can just run back and get that right away. Query. Since androids generate energy from water, what purpose does the resistance have with animal protein? Maybe it's more of a energy feeling from water, thing. huh? Like some people just want to eat it every now and then? It appears illogical. Hey, you Not got really. me. Since androids are capable of... You know, feeling pleasure and they're capable of eating naturally they must also enjoy you know good food just for the purpose of enjoying good food and not because it gives them energy oh well almost well, not quite killed two with one with one attack here but at least I hit them both. Now, with any luck, we might get some meat from both of them. Ah, beast hide. Okay. At least we got the boar meat. Machine leg, alright. Uh, I don't even want to pick up these chips. Okay, so we need moose meat, right? Of course. Um, should be more mooses about. Although I think they're mostly boars. Well, no, maybe not. Oh wow, this is level 74. Not that it helps much. Beast hide. Oh, oh, there we go. Nice. That should do it for the deer and boar meat. Guess we should report back to the trader. Guess we should. Wait, is there there's not a way through here. Never mind. So what's gonna be next? I guess there are a couple more food items in the game. There are various eggs, there are mushrooms, of course, and other plant parts. Well, we'll see. Okay, let's see. Moose meat, boar meat, yes, that's everything. I tell you what, you fry this up with a little salt and pepper, bam, taste explosion. Er, uh, allegedly. You've had it before? It's actually pretty popular among resistance combat models. Not that it has much of an effect. Humans were so amazing, weren't they? Just their cooking knowledge alone is enough to blow my mind. What do you think will happen to us androids once they finally come back? I mean, we're built to fight, and if we don't need to do that? Huh. Ah, forget it. We've all got our own work to do, right? Well, yeah. I'm going to keep up with food research as long as I can. Marine life has returned in force to the oceans and rivers, after all. So when humans return, I'll make sure to get to greet them with a glorious feast. See you around. Wow. Okay. Um, nothing particularly useful. Useful, unfortunately, but I need something. Sure. No updated inventory. Nope. Doesn't look like it. 
and no new quest. At least not for now. But maybe at some point, now that this camp has been established. Okay, uh, what else was there? We wanted to, right, head over here, and I'm past. Okay, um, sure. Still have a couple of minutes left in this episode, so... Okay, let's try this again. Uh, so, the game just had a crash to desktop, which it hasn't had in a while. Just as I entered this building and saw the quest item. Maybe I'll give it a bit more time to load here. Not really sure if that was a specific issue with this location here or just random. Let's hope it works. Look. That's A2's handiwork, I bet. Okay, well, it didn't crash yet. I'm not yet. picking up any sign of A2 herself. Hmm? What in the world? What are you talking about? Pod, help me out here. Analysis. It is believed to be a data log related to your high unit A2. What's the data? The data log has been irreparably damaged. Further analysis is impossible. Hmm. Okay. Why do a bunch Oops. of machines have A2's data? A2V? I'm picking up other reactions. We should check them out. I suppose. If I can't climb up this ladder. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> I'll just be running through here and see if we can reach the next area uh, relatively quickly. Well, I saw it there for a second. <coughs> Last time some side quest sent us into the factory to get something. It didn't actually require us to go very deep inside. Is this what I think it is? I think it is. I think it is what I think it is. Let's just get rid of these real quick. Oh, and the next wave too, I guess. Are we good? Okay. Data chip B, as expected. Just... Okay, no, it's not a archives because the number hasn't increased. I guess there must be key items. Yes. Little that can be analyzed. Okay. Fair enough. You won't even acknowledge that I found that, I suppose. Okay, and the next one seems to be right up here somewhere. Right here. Okay. Another one? Yes, actually, two more. Okay, never mind. Maybe we'll have to go through most of this place. Wait. Uh, except, wait. Oh, never mind. No, no, no. Come on. Okay, that's chip D. is not lowered. That's unfortunate. I thought it was. Is it actually in here? No, it's not. Huh. Okay. I guess it's just a... an issue, a perspective issue, basically, with the minimap being a little bit hard to read sometimes here in these areas where the perspective changes. Is this it? No. Obviously not. Just a little trap. I guess uh, it must be below here somewhere. I don't think there's any any way to go further up. Oh yeah, it's actually just there. Okay. 
Okay. I think that's the last of the data chips. Pod, analyze so? and collate the information from those chips. Analysis complete. Data set contains information about your high unit A2. Collating with data from other chips. Stand by. Collation complete. The contained data is a debriefing report for the Pearl Harbor descent undertaken during the 14th Machine War. Pearl Harbor descent? No kidding. Wait, what? That operation was carried out by the Yorha generation that came before us, right? Anyway, mission complete, I suppose. Let's get hmm. back to the resistance camp. If only there was a fast way out of here. But unfortunately, yeah. it looks like I'll have to uh, just retrace my steps. Yeah. I would do that off camera, just so I can not have this episode go too much over time. But who knows if something something might happen along the way, and I'd rather not have to awkwardly, you know, um, try to hit the record button in the middle of some kind of cutscene. So I'll just kind of speed run. Try to speed run out of here uh, and get stuck on the first enemy that appears. Good start. I guess there's a reason I'm not a speedrunner. I guess there are multiple reasons I'm not a speedrunner. I do love speedruns, but I don't think I would make a very good runner myself. I mean, there is an obvious lack of manual dexterity, which is kind of detrimental, but I guess with lots and lots of practice, that could be overcome to an extent. But much more importantly, I just don't enjoy replaying the same games over and over, and I think that's a very, very big uh, hindrance. So, yeah, I guess... I'm most likely never going to be a speedrunner. And we're almost out of here. Uh, actually, yeah. Basically out of here. That wasn't so bad. Unless the game crashes. Uh, really? These are new. Um, ouch. Right. Well, so, I guess in the end there was something quest-specific here. Even if it was very... Uh, I don't know. Underwhelming. Certainly not much of an obstacle. Okay. Back to the access point. Back to resistance camp. Uh, I should probably save here just in case it crashes again, even though, I mean, it really doesn't do that very often. But now, I guess I'm going to be a little bit paranoid for the next, for the next time, now that it happened. Actually, I didn't even restart my timer, or continue my timer, after the crash. That's okay. I'm going to finish this quest and then call it an episode here. I think we should actually be just fine on time. Hey, Anemone, found something, I guess. Something about Pearl Harbor? More data from A2. Take a look. That's... It's number two! It really is her. You know her? You're a unit number two. She's an older model, but the same type as you. We... work together. So you must be pretty old as well? I mean, no offense. The Pearl Harbor drop? Yes. The operation itself was a success, but the Yorha fighters were completely wiped out. Their commander was number two. A2. Have you met her? Do you know where she is? Actually, we have orders from the bunker to destroy her. What? She's a deserter. She also wiped out an entire team that was sent to bring her back. A2? No. I'm, I'm sorry, I... Let's go, 9S. Hmm, well that's awkward. Simple gadgets, huh? Now I get simple gadgets. <sighs> oh well. Power part up... Uh, power up part S. 
Well, I mean, sorry, Anemone, and also thanks for the stuff. I wonder what that was all about. Yeah. Something must have been up between Anemone and A2. I guess A2 must have been Some nicer. Things just aren't easy to talk about in the past, especially for a soldier who's been fighting that long. I guess so. Hmm. 9S, you. Huh? You might understand yourself someday. Right. Hmm. Indeed, he might. Or maybe he'll just go crazy. That's also quite possible. Upgrade pod. We don't even need a power a power up. Power up part S anymore. I wonder if that's just an extra one for redundancy? Or could that be a, a use for that? Hmm. As far as I'm aware, those are only for upgrading pods. Hmm. Yeah, S is actually the one for the first tier upgrade. So we definitely don't need that anymore. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, I, obviously I did not do the quest for the reward mainly, but, you know, for the sake of doing it. Also, this one was somewhat interesting, even though it didn't really answer much, answer many questions, but uh, if anything, it raised more. Oh, well. As I said, we're going to end the episode here. I'm going to probably start right away with diving into the uh, dark cave and look for Emil next time before trying to tackle any more side quests. Especially since it seems like for now we're done with all the side quests, except for the arena. Wait, no. Hold on a second. We definitely finished another quest here. I just want to see... Yeah, okay, it definitely says 31 out of 33. So that was a shared quest. Which means that there is still technically a 9S quest somewhere here, and another 2B quest, which of course we had to we would have to be playing as 2B in order to find that. Hmm. Well. Yeah, and okay. So we, we completed 31 out of 33. So we're back to missing exactly two. Right. Yeah, now it says 30 out of 32 here. Okay, so I'm pretty I'm pretty sure actually at this point that the two missing shared quests must be Pascal's quest and 4S's quest that are, are just basically available through most of the game. And 9S's quest might be the one with the three suiciders and there might be something I'm missing or maybe it's bugged or something. And then 2B's quest... Maybe that's the one I remember popping up near the uh, near the mall. Although I thought that actually specifically appeared during uh, Route B when playing as Nias, so who knows. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to call it an episode here. We're going to worry about that more next time. But as I said, mostly, most likely, unless something changes my mind, uh, we'll start by delving into the cave and looking around there. I think there should be plenty, uh, well, not plenty, but a couple of lock chest, maybe some more info for Pascal, that would be nice. And then hopefully we'll find Emil's hiding place and that's going to be interesting somehow. And maybe I'll also do some more cave fishing, mostly off camera, and maybe find those last couple of missing fish. Anyway, um, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.